Kia Stinger LED roof spoiler makes such a night and day difference. What's up fam? Thank you for tuning in to another video. It's Frankie. And before I continue on with the video, I just want to let you guys know we only have a few KDM license plate frames available left. Remember, we still have white, gold, and vacuum black. So go get yourself one. I'm rocking them on the Stinger as well as the K5. And they're very limited, only a little bit left. So make sure you guys go get yourself one before they sell out. But let's continue on to today's video. As you saw by the title of the video, we're going to be installing an LED roof brake light. What's crazy is not that many people do it. I'm assuming because the original version that came out sold out so fast and they never recreated them. That's what surprises me. I'm rocking that style of LED um, roof light on my K5 and it looks fantastic. And I wanna see how it would look on the Stinger because I only have seen a few people in Korea rocking the style that I'm about to do. So the original design actually is one whole piece together but this is two separate pieces from different companies now this little thin piece is actually the led brake light the bigger piece up here is just going to be a roof spoiler but this one is actually really rare the ones you see a lot of people running is some plastic material that goes on top of the glass but this one actually goes on top of the plastic here so it's a little bit higher i'm gonna show you guys right now real quick how it should look other than it going on the glass here it actually runs on top of the plastic piece here and fits quite perfectly i mean just look at that and it makes the car look so much more better with this piece here it's going to go right underneath and then we're, that's how we're going to get that third brake light and it's going to run all across matching with the new version of the tail lights that go on the kia stinger which is a whole light bar across so it's going to be two whole light bars it's going to look sick the one that's currently on the car is about a foot long and a half and i'm not a fan of that design i'm gonna tint that i'm gonna put the led long brake light on top this is one of the most easiest mods to do it's just simply two wires and to get access to that brake light up there is very easy So to get access to the roof brake light, all you have to do is pull here. Now with a 10 millimeter socket, there's three bolts that hold this piece onto the glass. I'm gonna disconnect the light here. Just like that you don't want to lose any of these tabs either so make sure but before i continue what i'm actually gonna do is wrap this area here since we're no longer going to be using this we are putting this back i'm just going to black out all this piece here that way it can match the whole entire glass rather than having one clear area blacked out that looks so much better adding some adhesive to the motor make sure this thing sticks the LED brake light bar is on this thing's solid. It's not gonna go anywhere. The 3M tape that's on this thing is crazy. But I fished the wire inside of this plastic trim here, and now it's coming out through this end here. So I found a hole in the trunk where I fed a zip tie through, and that's where I'm gonna be taping on the wire so I could feed it through the little grommet at the bottom of the trunk here. As you see, there's already a little area for the wiring. It's 
looking good. Wire is fed going under, literally covered by the trim and then shows again itself here and back into this grommet here and then fed through the whole of the trunk frame or skeleton, whatever you want to call it. All that's left is to heat shrink all this wire or I could tape it up and cut to size so that I connect it to the power there. Fam, I know you see the hoodie. Make sure you guys go get yourself one, support the channel. I gotta go, I think you heard me. So I disconnected the wiring harness for the brake light here. Simply a pin that you push down to disconnect it from here. And then you get a flathead and sandwich in between these two. And you could take this thing off. So what I'm gonna do is splice in between both of these. I'm actually gonna just cut directly through let me show you guys real quick. Ah. So obviously the red and black cables for power, all black is the ground. But since I no longer want to be using that roof brake light, the OEM one, I'm gonna give myself some slack and right about, right about here's good. This looks like it's 18 gauge wire. All right, should be fairly easy and simple to do. That should be good enough, just like that. And with this little kit that I have here, what I'm gonna do is heat shrink. I'm gonna tie them both together and then heat shrink them and should be good to go. I'm gonna make sure I give myself some slack. So I think right about here, Putting some heat shrink in between both of them. And what I like about these, there's a metal piece in there that once it heats up and melts, melts in between and it makes it even more of a firm hold. Yeah, that's solid. Alright, I'm gonna double check to make sure this shit works. Go ahead. And it works. Alright, lit. Thank you. Now, just to button everything up, I'm gonna put some wire protector on it. That way I make sure it doesn't get um, cut in between the process. Some wire loom tubing should do the trick. This shit looks OEM. Just gotta tape this up here and it's good to go. Now for the final piece, which is the piece I'm most excited for. This thing is gonna complete the look of the rear end and give it that hatchback look. Dude, that already looks so sick. Oh my God, that looks dope. Truth, does it clear or is it gonna break? It clears. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I 
goose, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? Fam, what do you guys think about the new LED roof spoiler? Although it's not really a one-piece spoiler, regardless, I think it looks so good. It complements the car. It looks like this is how it should have came factory. It gives it so much more of a sporty look. Spoiler just ties in the car. It's rear end so much better. To me, personally, I think the rear end is complete. There's nothing much more I'd want to do to it other than exhaust tips. I would want to go 5x5 five five compared to 5x4. Five but regardless, the rear end is complete. This is exactly how I imagined it when before I wanted to get the Kia Stinger and I was able to make it happen. Even with those freaking sequential tail lights, dude. Those things are hard to get and I freaking got them. They are quite expensive though. Those things ran me about 1,000 and a half, but they were well worth it. And now with that LED bar on the top to match, it's just, oof. Honestly guys, I love my rear end over the front. I don't know why, like whenever I take pictures, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's usually of the rear. I'm just in love with it. I guess I focused on it so much. I wanted to get it dialed into perfection. And honestly, there's so much wrong with the front of the car. For example, as you can see this hood, huge gap. I need to fix the freaking hood itself. I'm not a fan of, I hate forged carbon, but they only sold this one in forged carbon. So I was like, damn. I guess I have to wrap the hood to match the paint of the car but from what I was told it's quite expensive because of the way this hood is designed I guess this center strip would be very difficult to do and the way I want to do is is have like areas like this exposed not my favorite part of the car I don't know I still have some things coming in for the front end that I want to switch up there are some things that I do want to mock and change that I'm yet to see on a Kia Stinger's front end so hopefully we could get to doing that soon. Comment down below, would you guys rock this LED spoiler or would you keep your guys' car stock, not have a spoiler on the roof? I don't know, a lot of people probably might hate it or might love it. Personally, it's, I guess, a preference for many. A lot of people like keeping things OEM, but I mean, I did wrap this to match the paint in piano gloss black and I wrapped that piece there that now pretty much matches the mat that's on the glass, so. I think I did a pretty good job. I love it. But comment down below, would you guys rock this LED spoiler or would you keep it stock? But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe. That way you guys don't miss out on any new content that's coming up. Also, turn on that notification bell. That way you do get notified once I post a video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.